Let's try this egg. It's gonna be the moment of truth. Everything rides on this egg. I'm just praying that it's okay. Why is this chicken not cooked? It doesn't make any sense. It's so close. Oh no, that's why it's not working. My oven isn't even set to the right temperature. Dang it. Only way I can recover from this is to crank the heat and I'm gonna have to sacrifice an uneven cook because I can't serve raw chicken. That's super frustrating. Five minutes, only five more minutes. Even though I'm about five minutes from where I should be with my beef cheeks, I gotta pull that pressure cooker. Voila, I am happy, happy girl. They look beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I had to scratch my moose, so I'm trying to create something at this point to get on the plate, and the clock is just ticking away. But I know I can pull this off. Ah! It looks perfect. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I've got chicken cooking in the oven. Oh, it's in the oven till the last minute. I've got a million elements. I have to dig deep and hustle, hustle, hustle. One minute! Let's Come go, on, let's go! go. Yeah, Get it on the middle play. 60 seconds. This is it. This is amazing. Look at the energy in this kitchen right I now. I am going to be loving to taste a lot of these dishes. cook. I can't believe I actually pulled out three types of dim sum in one hour. This is a really good first cook. Uh, I'm happy with the presentation. Everything's clean. It's exactly what I wanted. I ran into some problems. My mousse sit inside, but feeling pretty crappy. <laughs> Andy, please bring up your dish. All that's going through my head is, Andy, did you overcook that lobster? Did you? So today I made a lobster and smoked oyster chowder with a buttermilk biscuit. That certainly is a buttermilk biscuit. <laughs> it's huge. The presentation of the dish, great quantity of lobster in there, absolutely exquisite. Look at that, dripping with all that goodness. <laughs> the lobster is spot on. This has great sophistication, great flavors, great balance. It really is a dish that I'd expect to eat at a restaurant. Well, thank you, chef. Well done, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Dora, please come up to the front with your dish. I did my take on a po' boy, and I did uh, my blueberry barbecue sauce with the beef cheeks, and then I made a nice sour slaw. Do you know flavors? but you really need to work on presentation as well. You know that, right? Heard, Chef, yes. This needs to taste better than it looks. Oh, there's good news and bad news. Okay. The good news is that that pressure cooker is no longer your nemesis. Yay. The flavor that you have in the beef cheeks is really amazing. It's very intense, great kick to it. But the bad news is the bread. You should have made your own bread if you could have. Something a little more elevated. I, yes. And this season is no joke. No, Look no, it is not. Look at the talent behind you. Oh, yes. I just wish you had done more. Flavor is king, but I made a sandwich, and they didn't really like that that much. Jeremy, please come up to the front. It's a monkfish sinigang. On the bottom is a tamarind and balsamic glaze and some watermelon radish for garnish. Amazing presentation. Thank you, Chef. I can't wait to sink my teeth in this. Everything is there. You got the fruitiness coming from the tamarind and the extra layer of flavor coming from the balsamic. Now, the monkfish is a poor man's lobster, man's lobster, okay? And I can tell you, 
This is a rich man's dish. Yes. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Christopher, please bring your dish up to the front. Chef, today I made a trio of Cantonese dim sum. It's been served with a sriracha and lemon mustard aioli. That's amazing. It looks like you've come a long way since the last time you were in this kitchen. Thanks, Chef. Delicious. Great flavors inside. The only comment I would have to make is increase the flavors within the dumpling. It's a little bit on the bland side. But overall, really amazing effort. I know how difficult it is to make dim sum, and you only had one hour. So you're more than just a pastry chef. I've worked really hard these last couple of years to really improve myself in savory and sweets. It shows, Christopher. Thank you, chef. Taya, you're next. I made crispy chicken basted in pork fat and then a roasted chili sauce. Presentation-wise, wow. Good acidity in there. Thank you, chef. And I tell you, that balances that smokiness in the chili. The chicken, not so great. But you got some things right on this plate. You made a great sauce, but that is not an excuse for dry chicken. Andrew, please bring up your dish. I'm confident in my dish, but I'm still terrified about what's inside that egg. I made shakshuka, which is eggs in purgatory. It's a traditional Mediterranean dish. I charred peppers and onions and my tomatoes, and then, of course, the egg. Let's try this egg. It's gonna be the moment of truth. Everything rides on this egg. I'm just praying that it's okay. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> you are out of purgatory and on your way to heaven by the looks of it. Oh my goodness. I would say pretty much mission accomplished. The egg, spot on. The flavors are big, bold. So well done. Thank you, Shane. Marissa, you're up next. I made uh, meat and potatoes and surf and turf. The meat and potatoes is chicken thigh with sweet potato noodles. And my surf and turf is tempurid squid and pork belly. You have a lot going on on one plate here. It looks a little clunky. The pork belly is a little tough, and the skin is actually not rendered down. The flavor, though, shines right through. If I can give you any advice here. Yes, chef. Do less, just do it better. Gotcha. Marisa. Chef Michael. This is the uh, tempura squid with a black vinegar vinaigrette. You know, the foundation here has really great flavor. Thank you, chef. I love what you did with these sweet potato noodles. That coconut sauce really elevates them, and they have a wonderful bite but the tempura batter needs a little bit more color to it, a little bit more crisp. The chicken, I think, too, could have just a touch more robustness in the flavor. You're well on the way, but did it hit that superstar mark? Right. The smallest mistakes can send you to the bottom, and I made a couple of mistakes. Andre, please bring your dish to the front. I made a pickled guava skin and uni butter coconut pasta. I mean, this is a complete change from what I saw last time. Beautiful presentation. I love the colors. I love the natural feel. I really love that. This is wow. I love the different textures. You got the crunch coming from the cracker. You got the silky smooth from the sea urchin. Yeah. And then that pickle gives it a bit of acidity, gives it a bit of freshness. You got the full balance in here. And you spend all that time in the front line. This dish could put you at the front of this line. Thank you. Oh my God. Because of work, I didn't think I was ready to come back here, but I'm glad I did. I'm just, I'm proud. Barry, you're next. Chef, I made for you today a Wagyu beef tartare with a smoked oyster aioli. It's ambitious, but I think you're ambitious, and I think that shows in this dish, which I like. Seasoning is terrific. The creaminess of the smoked oyster aioli, I think, adds a wonderful decadent richness to it. 
really well presented dish and a great comeback. Thank you, chef. Well done. May, you're next. I made a poached salmon with a Thai green curry sauce, crispy salmon skin. Well, the presentation, I must admit, beautiful. Flakes nicely, and it's still juicy. It's a very good dish, well composed, nice cook on the salmon. You did well. Thank you, Chef Elvin. Jen, you're up next. Today, I made for you a butter-basted strip sirloin, a potato pave, a wild mushroom demi-glaze with some pickled pearl onion petals. Looks like someone's been spending a lot of time in the kitchen. As much as I possibly can with two children. <laughs> Delicious. Really, really great. The only criticism I would give you is I think it needs something to cut through the richness of the pavé and the steak. But overall, it looks like a finale dish already. Thank you, chef. Trying to keep it together this season. <laughs> but I feel incredible. <sighs> April Lee, please bring up your dish. I am presenting you with a pineapple rum coconut curd on a jaconade biscuit. So April Lee, by the looks of this dessert, I think that you probably missed the mark. What happened? Um, you know, conceptually, I, I had it all in my head. I thought it was all going really well, and then it, it didn't, and things were really spiraling out of control for me. I really, at the last 20 seconds, got this on the plate. Well, let me taste it. The presentation's not good. I know. But the flavor is awesome. Thank you. Really, really awesome. Thank you, Chef. Beautiful acidity, great control, great textures. Just that presentation, that's the only thing. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. These competitors are so fierce. They are here to win it. There's no room for someone that isn't bringing their A game. The competition right now is insane. I feel like it's a bit of a coin flip. I saw one or two disappointments. You know I know how to cook. I can do more than a sandwich. I'm a little bit worried. I'm just telling myself that I'm not going home. I'm not going home. Our expectations are higher than ever. We obviously knew that you were good, but your abilities are beyond what we ever expected. But one of you showed a level of growth and ingenuity that left us stunned. And that cook is... Andre. Oh, yeah. Oh, well done, buddy. Awesome work. Yes. <laughs> Winning the first challenge is like a big boost of confidence. Your uni amuse-bouche was the most impressive dish of the night. And that means that you now have a massive advantage next week. It's really good to be back. Unfortunately, there were a few dishes that didn't quite reach the sky-high standards of the others. April Lee, Marissa, and Dora. April Lee and Marissa, please take a step forward. Both of you fell short of expectations today. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. And the three of us ultimately decided... <laughs> ...to give you another chance. We believe that you both have a lot more to show us. Thank you. We'll prove you're right. Please go back to your stations. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. chef. Dora, we're sorry, but this challenge set a high bar, and this was not the time to play it safe. You weren't here for a long time, but it was great having you back. Sure was, thank you. The energy that you bring to this kitchen is a real delight. Mm. I wish you the best of luck, Dora. Take care, chefs, thank you. 
I know I've performed well. I just made the wrong decisions.